What's up everybody? Dan's back doing uh, the latest review uh, for the end of the month. Happy Memorial Day to everyone. Uh, hope you, had, you all had a good weekend. The weather sucked up here in, uh, in the New York City area. I think today was the first day of, uh, of nice weather. Yesterday we had shit weather. But um, anyway, I got a, a recent pickup here out of uh, Mita from Japan. They did a nice little uh, <clears throat> a collaboration with Reebok Classics. Um, I showed you a Reebok Classic a couple videos ago from Packer when they did uh, uh, their own collab for the, uh, for the Aztec uh, colorway and it actually came out pretty dope. But we're seeing a lot of, um, a lot of people using the Reebok Classic this year uh, for collaborations. Um, the latest one uh, actually, Soulbox has dropped uh, their own version this past weekend on Saturday, um, but this one dropped uh, the week before that. So uh, the one that we're going to look at right now is uh, out of Mita in Japan. This is uh, their take on the, uh, the Reebok Classic. So uh, let's take a look. See what we got. All right. <clears throat> As you can see, there really was no name for this. For this collaboration i mean if there was i really didn't pick up on it but um uh you know it's a it's a sick uh a sick design um the way they uh they made up this uh this silhouette they used uh, a ton of materials um as for you know for for the shoe itself we have uh, pigskin suede we have just uh, more premium suede we have uh, a chambray type of material used on the side paneling um also on the on the on the tongue itself, and then there's uh, a little bit of uh, of glow in the dark. Uh, looks like stars and, and planets or, or whatnot. Uh, also used around the shoe. So uh, <clears throat> as you can see, uh, the shoe itself, uh, colorway uh, mostly blue. You know, with with a, with a hit of navy in it. So you got you know more navy and that chambray blue. Uh, but the toe box itself. Is that sand color or uh, you know the uh, tan colorway? The toe box itself is the uh, premium pigskin suede. I'm gonna pull one of these down so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Is the premium pigskin suede. So if you you know if you zoom in on it, you can see that uh, it's perforated toe box. You know all around. Uh, the suede is is like super soft, just like. Uh, uh, any other premium collaboration that you've uh, that you've had or you picked up in the past that had uh, uh, using that premium suede, you'll see it's, it's being used in this one too. Um, on the side paneling, all right, they're still using, they're still sticking with that uh, that premium suede. It's not really pigskin, pigskin at this. Well, actually, no, it is. It is. Take that back. It is pigskin suede, suede that they're using. So on the uh, on the Reebok stripes. Uh, all up the uh, the lace paneling, you'll see they're using that that pigskin suede as well, um, and then in the heel in the in the heel counter in the heel tab as well, uh, it's all pigskin. All right, um, back to using the tan in the in the actual heel tab itself. The Reebok logo, if you could zoom in, as you you can see, is uh, uh, embossed in it. You get a close up on that, John. All right, cool. Uh, so you could see that uh, they did a nice job with that. Now, <clears throat> as far as the rest of the shoe, um, I read the interview with uh, the creative director of, of Mita, and he said that uh, um, even though the, the material that he that they used kind of looks like a canvas ripstop type of material, it's not. He he calls it uh, a, a chambray type of material, and it is. It, it's it has a, a feeling more of like a, a really super soft denim. Uh, if you get your hands on it, you'll, you'll, you'll see what I mean. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty dope as far as the material is concerned. Um, the, the motif of, you know, he wanted to go with the shoe that changes color in, in different types of light. So, um, you know, as far as, as I can see, it hasn't really, you know, hasn't really changed color. But then again, I only wore it once today. Uh, but they did throw in some, uh, some glow-in-the-dark pieces onto it. If you could really zoom in, you'll see the little stars and and circles in here as well, which are uh, you know stars and and, and planets, uh, you know as what he said. Uh, so it's pretty cool. It's pretty dope. Um, nice little addition to the shoe, the overall shoe itself. 
uh, but that's in all the side paneling and on the tongue as well. So um, you could you could probably see it more in the in the tongue, uh, the little hits of, of the stars and, and and the planets itself. Uh, so it's pretty cool, pretty cool how they uh, did that. So I'm actually looking forward to to wearing these at night and seeing if they actually uh, they do change the colors. Uh, you know, as uh, as he mentioned, they would. Uh, but again, same thing on the inner uh, inner part of the shoe, side paneling as well, uh, using that same chambray material uh, with the with the hits of that glow in the dark star and and, and the planet type of thing. Um, the tongue itself a little bit longer than uh, the other Reebok classics that I had. I've I've noticed on this one. Not, I mean, it's not super long, but. Uh, um, for sure longer than the uh, than the Packer Reebok collab that, that came out. Um, not that it bothers you or it gets in the way or anything, but uh, uh, it, it, you know, you could definitely notice it. So if, you, if you're one to wear jeans all, all summer or, you know, uh, most of the time or sweatpants or, you know, anything like that, then, uh, these will definitely uh, be able to be sticking out uh, if that's the way you like to, uh, to rock your kicks and stuff. So um, laces. As you can see, straight up white. They did come with a, a second pair of lace, uh, navy. Uh, I actually think the white laces look better. They definitely pop more. They stand out more in the shoe itself. Uh, but you know, if you want to keep the shoe a little bit darker, this is probably a good lace to go with when you know when the weather gets colder again, winter time, you know, something like that. But you know, we do see a, a second lace. There was no third lace, um, as we saw in the in the Packer release. Uh, you only get two. Two pairs here uh, on the inner on the inner sole. Uh, let me see if I can pull this out. Uh, no, I don't think I can. But on the insole, you can see that um, <clears throat> the inner inner sole itself is uh, using the uh, the Mita logo, as he described, as the director of, of Mita uh, described it. It's it's the fence, the chain link fence that actually. Uh, uh, goes around the entire store. If you ever uh, were at Mita or you know saw videos from the store or shop itself, you'll see that uh, all the shoes are, are displayed on a chain link fence, which is uh, which is pretty dope. It's a darker store, so uh, you know added some uh, I guess a little bit more light with uh, with the chain link link fence. But that's the uh, you know the uh, the insole, pretty cool. Now the outsole, gum bottom. All right, so. Uh, Definitely adds a nice little uh, a, a little touch to the shoe itself. Uh, the gum bottom actually goes pretty well with the uh, you know with the tan toe box, uh, and then a nice color blocking with the rest of the shoe, uh, all blue. So uh, actually you know came out pretty dope. You know I I, I love the way these came out. Super comfortable. Uh, I wore, like I said I wore them all day today and I, I, it was just like wearing slippers to be honest with you. So really dope shoe. Uh, definitely a nice design and uh, shout outs to Mita for uh, making a nice silhouette here. Uh, definitely be on the lookout for more Reebok classics coming you know, down the pipeline. I'm sure we'll see uh, you know, more of the companies uh, and designers whatnot coming out with, uh, with, their, own, <clears throat> with their own version. Uh, if you've been reading any of the uh, uh, sneaker blogs and websites, you know that uh, there's a lot of shoes that are coming. In, Pretty soon, that you know, sometime during the summer, we have a few Gel A threes um, that just uh, made their way. Pick, their their pictures made their way onto the net. We have um, a really dope shoe coming out of Concepts from Boston. Uh, obviously, Ronnie and the Kith team have uh, uh, the Flamingos coming out. Uh, we also saw another uh, Gel A three coming out of. Uh, uh, St. Alfred's in Chicago. That was another uh, dope Gel A3 that's coming out. We have some some New Balances also coming out. Ubic in in, uh, in, in, uh, in Philly is, is dropping a New Balance. Uh, so there's a lot of shoes coming down the pipeline. Um, you know, be on the lookout for everything. Uh, obviously, once uh, I get my hands on them, I'll be throwing a, you know a video review of them all. So uh, you know, keep checking back. Subscribe. You know, do the whole, the whole Instagram, Twitter thing. Follow me wherever you can, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.